you may already know that speed is how fast something is going. Now we use the speedometer in a car to measure speed. If the speedometer says 60 miles an hour, that means the car is going to travel 60 miles in one hour. That's a measure of speed. Now if we measure the direction and the speed, that's called velocity. It works like this. Traveling 60 miles in one hour is measuring speed. 60 miles per hour. Add direction and speed becomes velocity. The car starts out from home and we see the speed on the speedometer. Every time you change speed or direction, the velocity changes. The change in velocity over time is called acceleration. By the time you reach the freeway, the car is accelerated to 50 miles an hour or more. If you went from 10 miles an hour to 50 miles an hour in one minute, then your acceleration, the change in velocity, would be 40 miles per hour per minute. The way we figure acceleration is to subtract the starting speed from the ending speed to calculate the change in speed. The change in speed is measured over time. Acceleration is the change in speed over time. It's also a change in acceleration if the car slows down. This is sometimes called negative acceleration or deceleration. Objects don't accelerate unless a force or the object changes. For instance, the force of gravity is always pulling on things. It never stops. If we drop this ball, gravity pulls it down. But while it's falling, gravity is always pulling on it. So it goes faster and faster. That's right. Let me show you. 